It's been bubbling away on Reunion Island for over 500,000 years. Rising up over the Indian Ocean, the Piton de la Fournaise is a majestic volcano and one of the most active in the world. It's one that sparks fascination, but also fear. For many people today, the volcano still represents hell. It's the place where those who deserve punishment go to serve their punishment. Known as the peak of the furnace in English, the volcano has spewed out rocks and lava in several devastating eruptions in the past. Many of them have left a deep imprint on the history of this island. A stone's throw from the crater is the village of Tremblay. In March 1986, Wilfried Bertil was the mayor of this community. We ordered people to evacuate. And we did this with whatever means we had. Vans, trucks belonging to locals and some farm tractors. There are just a few photographs left from those dramatic days, ones which made headline news at the time. Now these pictures are an important part of the curriculum in schools. So in this one, it's daytime. Daytime, yes. The magma is underground. There's a magma chamber and when there's too much magma inside, it goes up the volcano and erupts. We try and make sure that they learn all about the volcanoes and their activity in general and that they learn about how the Piton de la Fernes works in particular. We also teach them that they're not next to the volcano but on a volcano, which is quite different. The volcanologist Alain Barty was the same age as these schoolchildren when he first learned about the Piton de la Fernes. It started very early on for me with my grandfather on the south side in Tremblay, where he brought me to see the 1961 eruption. It was such an amazing experience for me that it stayed with me for life. And I went back time and again to see other eruptions, and I've missed virtually none of them. All of my relatives tell me that I'm different when I come back from the volcano. Wow. There are many more lava flows from the last time. It's beautiful. This volcano doesn't need us to exist. It accepts us a little bit, but it first appeared without us a very long time ago. When the sun goes down on the tip of the volcano, this show of fire and light is amazing. Wow. It's stunning. These photos I'm taking allow those who don't have the chance to come up here to enjoy the eruptions as well. We have the chance to see something which is sort of similar to the beginning of the Earth's formation. The people of this island are very proud of their natural treasure. On the local market stalls, the volcano can be found everywhere. Reunion Island is the volcano and the sea, it's everything together. The volcano is part of our culture. There you go, I can even do it in Creole if you want. <laughs> but if you're not happy with just a souvenir, you can come up to the volcano on a guided tour. What a beautiful eruption. Look at that. At night, it will be something else. We'll get a better view of the glow and the eruptions. This is just a taster. The volcano is the most visited natural site on the island. Every year, it attracts more than 450,000 tourists. It's something rather mythical. That's how I describe it. Wow. Sabine, did you see that? <gasps> Unbelievable. As the tour continues, the light fades 
and the volcano is slowly shrouded in semi-darkness. For these tourists, it's a magical moment. All we can do is watch and listen because it's so noisy. We're like kids. It's something that will stay with us. It's nature in its purest state. It's a volcano that's unique, and that's somehow preferred, because it's our volcano here on Reunion Island. It's a volcano that's been given to us. As it spits out its red-hot lava, this UNESCO World Heritage Site will continue to draw in the crowds, while keeping locals forever on their guard.